Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to use variables. When you need to store temporary variables, or even store values that you'll be needing throughout the application, you should use variables. Calypso variables comes in three types, global, local and temporary. Global variables are available at any point in the application. Regardless of the form you're in, they are always available. You have up to 1000 variables. There are several direct accesses to the global variables. You can browse them in this button in the toolbar or even in any expression editor throughout the application. In our menu form, let's add a message box action displaying the value of global variable 0. So I'm going to expand the expression editor and double click the global variable 0. Now we'll change the value of the same variable to something. Now we copy paste the message box. Ok, let's test the project. So as you can see the variable starts empty and afterwards assumes the value we've specified. It's even possible to check its type and value in this trace window. If we want, we can even edit directly. This can be useful to test different scenarios without having to restart the simulator. Ok, back to the designer. Besides global variables, we have local variables. Local variables exist at the form level. This means that each form has its own 100 variables. To show how this works, let's go to the products form and add a message box to display the content of local variable 0. Then, let's set its value to local 0. Copy the message box again. Now I'm going to save. Now, in the customers form, we paste just the message box to display the local variable zero value. Let's test the application. We still have the message box from the first form, second message box, and now, if we open the products form, we see that local variable zero is empty. And now it isn't. It has the value we've specified. If we close the form and open the customer's form, you can see that it is empty. This happens because they are two different local variables. One is from form products and the other from customers. And we only set the value in the products form. Just like the global variables, local variables can also be edited in the trace window. To do it so, we have to select the form from where the local variable belongs to and only the ones used are displayed. So we can select customers local variables. And no local variable is displayed because we've never changed its value. We only try to display it. We can go to the products, ok, ok, and now if you select here the products form, we can see that local variable 0 holds local 0 value. Finally, we also have temporary variables. Temporary variables exist at the event level. This means that each event has 100 temporary variables available. You can use them just like any other. For instance, in the opening of the form menu, we are already setting the value of a global variable. Let's make an identical example using temporary variables. First, we display the value of temporary variable 0. Then, we set its value to temporary 0. And message box again. Finally, the same message box in the after open form. Ok, let's test the project. We 
we have the message box related to the global variable again global variable and now the temporary as always empty at first and now the value we've set in the after open form event we see that temporary variable 0 is empty again because they are two different variables for organization purposes it's useful to rename the variables we use you can do it at any moment in your project for instance we can double click global variable 0 and rename it to test we don't need to change anything else if we check the open form actions the variable was automatically renamed the same thing can be done for local variables so if we go to the customers form switch to the local variables let's call it this one customer 0 if we check the actions they are already renamed if we do the same thing in the products form can call it products 0 click actions we see that it's already renamed for the temporary variables we can do exactly the same thing in each event there is a direct access to its own temporary variables here we can call it open form 0 it's automatically renamed but check out the after open form event it remains temporary 0 so we can call it after open form 0 to properly distinguish them let's save and test the project one more time just to see everything is still working as before although we've been renaming the variables Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about variables. See you on the next one.